Hey guys, we're coming at you from the Fluval Aquatic Cave and today we're going to talk about how to cycle your aquarium and the nitrogen cycle in general. Now, when you first set up a new tank, it's obviously a really critical event. So you want to make sure you understand exactly what's going on. Now it all starts, there's five stages. It all starts with how does nitrogen gets, how nitrogen gets in your aquarium. That would be stage one. So you're feeding your fish, nitrogen is introduced into the system. Stage two is your fish have consumed the food. Now they start to excrete uh, nitrogen compounds, the first of which is going to be ammonia that has to be dealt with. So ammonia levels start to go up, stage three kicks in. You got nitrous ammonas bacteria. They convert ammonia to nitrite. Now we're into stage four. You've got the establishment of nitrobacter bacteria. They convert uh, nitrite to nitrate. And finally stage five, as nitrates start to go down, nitrate values go up. So now you have a more or less harmless byproduct at the end called nitrate, which you're supposed to control with regular water changes. And as we normally recommend, if you can incorporate live plants, do, because they do help to absorb some nitrate and they do take actually some ammonium in. So very important point. Now, nitrogen cycle is sometimes a little bit misunderstood. People think it's only a, a new tank event and tanks got to cycle through and then everything's great. Yes, it is great when it cycles through, but it's also equally important to understand that this is an ongoing process. So it's just that at this point, you've established the bacteria so that you're not going to see ammonia and nitrite spikes. But the same process is going on. The fish are excreting waste into the tank and the same bacteria are breaking it down and rendering it harmless. So it's an ongoing thing. And remember, there are events that can disrupt that. So the more you know about that, the better. You want a stable tank, you want a biologically healthy environment for your fish. Now when it comes to cycling your tank, there's some things that you should do. How to cycle is really important. And first off, starting with a light fish load. Go with hardy species of fish, not too many, and start your tank off that way. Now, once you do that, you obviously want to dose with a product like Fluval Biological Enhancer, or as it's known in some markets, Cycle. This is a product that contains optimal strains of Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter bacteria. This is going to seed your tank right off the bat with the, the, the bacteria that you need to maintain a, a healthy aquarium with. You also want to test water because ammonia and nitrite are things that you don't see in the water. So you got to test, you got to be aware of the fact that levels are zero before you move on and start to have ideas of stocking your tank with additional fish. Now, one, one really important tip that really works well is if you have a healthy established tank, take some filter media from that filter and put it in your newly set up filter. That will help accelerate the whole process and keep your tank stable quicker. It's a great thing to do. And remember that even though you've cycled your aquarium through initially and you have zero ammonia and nitrite, adding new fish should be done at a slow rate. Don't push the matter. Keep any additions low and do it sporadically. Don't add too many fish at any one time. And last but not least, leave your filter alone for the first two months. Don't disturb the filter media. Let it go two months before you start replacing media and following regular filter maintenance practices. Now, if you got any other information you want to read up on in relation to the nitrogen cycle or topics that are similar, please come visit us at fluvalaquatics.com. If you got a specific question you want to shoot at us, we're here to answer it. We'd love to have you visit us. Thanks a lot.